Honda really wants the world to know that safety is its top priority. Just recently, it announced that it's aiming for zero traffic collision fatalities involving Honda vehicles by 2050. And that's a bold claim, but it's something that seems very possible since the company is already pushing vehicles with features to support this goal. Enter Honda Sensing, the company's driver assistive system that uses modern technology to keep you safe. With strategically placed cameras and sensors, these act as an extra pair of eyes to help the driver avoid potential accidents. What we have here is the 11th gen Honda Civic in its entry-level trim. And although this is the base model of the lineup, it already comes with the company's advanced safety technology. Hey guys, it's Vika, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. Today, we're taking a deeper look at Honda Sensing safety technology. Before we get into all that Honda Sensing tech, we can't not admire the 2022 Honda Civic's new design. Its long hood is still here and echoes the design language of past releases, but overall looks more balanced and proportionate. Probably one of its most noticeable changes is the shift from a more aggressive looking vehicle to something a little more sophisticated and matured. We have a new grille up front along with new LED headlights as well. Head to the rear and you'll find that L-Type units have replaced the the Civic's C-shaped taillights. We also have a ducktail spoiler here for a touch of sportiness. Moving to its interior, the grown-up Civic boasts clean lines and thoughtful design. I love the look of these honeycomb vents that stretch across the length of the dashboard, completing the look our chrome accents peppered around the vehicle's interior. A digital gauge sits in front of you as you drive and I found it not only awesome to look at but also intuitive, especially in accessing Honda Sensing tech, but more on that later. Compromise does come in the form of hard plastic that's used on the doors, steering wheel, and other areas of the vehicle. The center console features a large 9-inch display and I'm happy to find that it supports both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's also responsive enough to make navigation pretty easy. But if you want something a little more tactile, you can also use the right knob to move through the menus. AC controls also get a refresh and are much easier and more ergonomic to manipulate. And finally, we have fabric seats that are comfortable enough for long drives. Pop the hood open and you'll find a 1.5 liter turbocharged VTEC engine boasting 178 horsepower and 240 nanometers of torque. So we've had this car for a couple of days now and Kevin and I both agree that you can really feel the performance upgrade. In speed, for example, if you really want power, this car can give it to you. So for those long open roads, if you really want that extra speed boost when there's no one in the way, th this car can deliver. So you can really feel that increased power, the turbo engine with this vehicle. Another great thing that I noticed about this car is that it feels really well balanced, which adds to really good handling when you're driving around city roads or you know when it's not just an open road. In turning, for example, uh, it doesn't take much to get uh, precise man maneuvering so you can get into those uh, small streets if you need to or if you need to weave in and out of traffic uh, it's easy to grab a hold of this car to get control of this car in addition to that we felt almost no delay in turbo and you of course get different modes to suit your driving style now on to some Honda Sensing goodness. Honda Sensing is what the company calls its suite of intelligent safety and driver assistive features. Like I said earlier, this is the base model of the series and it comes with Honda Sensing technology already, meaning more people will have access to this technology and will help achieve Honda's goal of being collision free by 2050. With the help of cameras and radars, the vehicle is able to react and alert with the main goal of keeping the car, its driver and passengers safe. Here are just some of the features you'll find on this 2022 Civic where Honda Sensing comes standard. So one of the more interesting features on this car is the lead car departure alert, which I think will be useful for a lot of people. If you're at a traffic light, for example, and you kind of shift your attention somewhere else, uh, this car will alert you when the car in front of you moves, maybe when the signal turns green. This will be really useful for a lot of people, like I said, because in city traffic, you sometimes stop and go, and you sometimes lose attention when you're driving, which you're not supposed to, and that's what this feature is for. It helps you keep alert and aware of the things that are in 
front of you. I also appreciate how Honda is making these features very visible to the average user, the average driver, since you have the buttons here on the steering wheel for your cruise control and your proximity. Even if you're not familiar, you'll ask yourself what these buttons are and then you'll be aware of what your car can do and how it can help you keep safe on the road. For cruise control, you can easily set your speed and you can turn it on and off anytime you want. So if you suddenly encounter a long open road, just hit that button and set your speed, set your proximity. It's all here, which makes it really easy. Making it more accessible is another way that Honda is inching closer to that goal, that, to that collision-free goal. Other favorites include collision mitigation braking system that offers audio and visual warnings for obstacles on the road, and automatic high beam. There are active safety features as well, of course, such as the multi-angle rear view camera that can help you see your surroundings better or assist with parking. So with all that, is Honda sensing useful or, you know, what is it really all about? Well, like I said earlier, it's like having an extra set of eyes or an extra pair of eyes since you do have all these cameras and sensors around to really help you on your drive. So the overall goal is not really to take over the vehicle for you, but instead support you with all of these alerts, with all these technologies, so that you're always aware of your environments and your surrounding, again, contributing to a safer drive. As a responsible driver, you still have to be always alert. With the help of modern technology, however, Honda is able to outfit its vehicles and provide assistance, either visual or auditory, to help you keep aware of your surroundings and even act in times of emergency. And with all that, a collision-free world by 2050 doesn't seem so far-fetched, doesn't it? For this Honda Civic, I thoroughly enjoyed having Honda Sensing on board because it elevates the experience of driving this already pretty awesome vehicle. And that's about it for our Honda Sensing video. As always, please do visit our website and our other social media channels for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.